You just scored a Honda Passport? Congratulations and welcome aboard! This versatile SUV offers a wealth of features, and after nearly 3 years and close to 35,000 miles with mine, I'm ready to help you get the most out of your Passport. Even if you've been driving yours for a while, there might still be some new features for you to explore. Plus, I'll be showing you the device that lets you stream Netflix and makes your smartphone connection wireless. So buckle up, this episode is packed with value. Start your day in comfort with Remote Engine Start, available on all Passport trims. This feature lets you preheat or cool your vehicle from the convenience of your home or office. Just press the lock button on your key fob once, then hold the Remote Start button until the parking lights flash six times. Your Passport will then adjust the cabin temperature, ensuring a comfortable ride when you're ready to go. On a cold day, it will automatically activate the heated seats, defrost the windows and side mirrors, and, if equipped, turn on the heated steering wheel and windshield wiper zone. And yes, your Passport will automatically turn off in 10 minutes, just in case you're running late. After starting it remotely, once you get inside, you'll still need to put your foot on the brake and press the engine start button, just as you normally would, to let your Passport know it's you. When you do this, the computer detects the key fob inside and authenticates you as the owner. Until then, the shifter and the screens stay locked, ensuring that no one can drive off with your vehicle. With a simple double tap and hold of your key fob's unlock button, you can quickly lower all windows and the sunroof, standard on all trims, on your passport, allowing hot air to escape before you even step inside. To close them back up, take out the physical key from your key fob, insert it into the door handle, turn it to the left once, then turn it again and hold it until all the windows and the sunroof are fully closed. This is a convenient way to manage the interior temperature without even getting into the vehicle. Tired of juggling kids and keys? The Passport's smart entry system has you covered. By default, only the driver's door unlocks when you grab the handle. But don't worry, you can change that. Simply head to Settings in the main menu, then select Vehicle and go to Keyless Access Setup. Under Door Unlock Mode, it choose All Doors. Now, every family member can hop in without hassle after you grab the driver's door handle. Ever walked away from your car only to wonder if you remembered to lock it? The Passport's Walk Away Auto Lock feature can put an end to that worry. The vehicle locks itself when you move about 8 feet away while carrying the key fob, then confirms this with a beep. To activate it, go to Settings, then tap on Vehicle, select Keyless Access Setup, and choose Walk Away Auto Lock. Choose On for instant peace of mind. Excited about these few exterior features? Stay tuned, there's more on the inside. Every Passport, except for the base Sport model from 2019 to 2021, offers a convenient feature that allows you to store your preferred driving settings. Simply program your key fob to remember your ideal driver's seat position, mirror angles, and climate control preferences. This ensures that stepping into your passport always feels like home with no need for adjustments. To set up these personalized settings, start by turning on the vehicle. Adjust the driver's seat and side mirrors to your desired position. Then, press the set button to begin the memory setting process. Quickly press either the 1 or 2 button to save the seat position. A beep will confirm that the position has been stored. Repeat these steps for each button and key. Ever since I got my passport almost 3 years ago, I've been wondering, how can I stream Netflix or YouTube on this screen? And how can I make Apple CarPlay wireless? Surprisingly, Honda still hasn't introduced a wireless option for the latest passport, which I find puzzling. Thankfully, there's a solution that maximizes my smartphone's capabilities using the Passport's infotainment screen. What you see here is the AI box light from One Car Stereo. Not only does it make Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless, but it also allows you to run your favorite video and music streaming apps right on your screen. I should mention that I received this product as a complimentary item, but I'm not sponsored by One Car Stereo. What you'll hear are purely my own opinions and experiences. Setting up the AI box is a breeze. First, I paired my phone with the device via Bluetooth. 
while the AI box was connected to my passport using the cord. Once my vehicle recognized the device, the Apple CarPlay screen appeared in the menu, and I had instant access to all my audio streaming apps, like Spotify, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music, along with navigation tools like Apple Maps, Google Maps, and Waze. One of the most exciting features the AI box offers is access to Netflix and YouTube. Imagine catching up on your favorite shows while waiting for your kid to finish school, or, in my case, passing time while my wife is shopping. The picture and audio quality are excellent, with no compromise in streaming performance. Plus, by keeping the AI box connected via Bluetooth, my phone now connects wirelessly to Apple CarPlay every time I start the vehicle. I expect the same seamless experience with Android Auto, though I haven't tested it on an Android device. If you're ready to upgrade your experience, follow the link below to get your hands on this device. Remember, safety first, do not operate the system while driving. Watching videos, answering calls, or making calls while on the road can be dangerous. Always follow local traffic laws. The Passport's infotainment system offers customizable screen layouts, allowing you to arrange apps to your preference. Similar to organizing apps on your smartphone, simply tap and hold the app you want to move, then drag it to your desired location on the screen. This intuitive feature lets you personalize your system for a more streamlined and personalized driving experience. Family road trips can be a lot smoother with the Audio Zones feature. This cool tech lets you control the music in different parts of the car, making sure everyone's happy. We travel often in our passport, and while the kids peacefully nap in the back, I can enjoy my audiobooks and navigation instructions through the front speakers, with the rest on mute for a calm atmosphere. But when the inevitable baby shark chorus kicks in, I just direct the sound to their zone, keeping my driving zen intact. Pro tip, with the satellite radio app, you can replay any song, show, or track using the playback bar on the screen. Your passport's built-in hard drive records satellite radio from the moment you start the car, storing up to an hour of memory. That means you can listen to your favorite tunes as many times as you want. Let's check out the true business end of the passport, the cargo area. Every trim level comes with a handy tray tucked beneath the floor, and here's a tip. It's easily removable for a quick hose-off. We often use it to stash our kids' sandy sandals or other dirty items. And sometimes, we even toss in some bags of ice to keep drinks cool. For easier access, make sure to use the hook to secure the cover, just like I did. It's practical, easy to clean, and ready for anything you throw at it. These are just a few of the many features that make the Honda Passport such a good SUV. If you'd like to know more about my very own experience of driving and living with it, watch my previous episode, Nothing But An Honest Review. Also, if you've made it this far and found this episode helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons below for more content just like this.